Hey Blastor here again. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a disposable system that makes certain items. And the items that we're going to make are biofuel, color cartridges, fabric, and power shards. Typical items you cannot make with a automation factory, I meaning you don't mine for these minerals. You actually just put them in the machine yourself or you hand make them. But what we're going to do is we have a bin here, green wall, and we can put in slugs, mycelia, leaves, wood, flowers, alien, carapaces and biomass into one area and it will spit out these four items automatically for us. Um, so it makes it a little easier instead of going to each individual machines or hand making these you can just put everything in here and voila later on you'll have items. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, go ahead and put in some slugs here uh, and I'm gonna, also going to put in 50 power shards. I just want to show you that even though this is going to make power shards for you, you can actually throw the items in there and it'll go to the right bin automatically. So we'll go ahead and put our 50 shards in there and this should make eight more power shards when it's done. Go ahead and throw those in there. Go ahead and throw in some leaves, some wood, some biomass, some flowers, mycelia, alien carapaces. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw in some biofuels, some more color cartridges and fabric there again just to show that they go to the proper bin automatically. And then we're going to go ahead and throw in some concrete. And you'll see I don't have concrete listed here as a proper item, but I've got a trash bin just in case you do some accidental clicks and throw in some junk. You can go retrieve your junk, but they're not going to clog up the system. So, Alright, let's go ahead and see what's happening here. Let's go back to the power shards first. And there's our 58 shards. That's already gone through the system there. We go through here. It looks like fabric's already being made. Nice. Colored cartridges haven't gone through, but I've sent a lot of leaves and wood, so it's probably just churning through the system right now. And as you can see, it's making biofuel. Let's go downstairs and I'll show you how the system works. Um, you can see here the green room basically sends all the items down, and then everything else that gets made comes up and into these bins. And you can see stuff is definitely going through the system. A lot of leaves there. Let's follow this down here with all the products. Comes down, hits a merger first. Not really important yet, but later on I'll explain what this merger's for. And then it goes down already to programmable splitters right next to the bins that goes up. Now I have three bins right now, but the deeper you make this, the more bins you can. And I try to cramp this as close as I could together. So if you build this with more room in mind, you might even be able to put them you know, horizontal and do more bins. You should be able to even make this even more compact than I did, especially if you used all this open space right here. But for this, this description here, I'm going to kind of show it as is. So what these programmable splitters do is says, okay, if you accidentally sent biofuel, even though I'm making biofuel here, go ahead and just send it right to the proper bin. Same thing with this one, we're going to send all our color cartridges straight here. Then we'll send all of our fabric up there, and then all of our power shards right here. That is the reason this merger is right here. Eventually all the machines will make those products and then come right back to this merger and we already have our AI set up to send everything properly up there. Now we didn't do that. Splitters only have one input so you couldn't really force the item up here and have another input to force it up there. So you just run everything back through the uh, beginning of the system and you only need the splitters one time and everything goes to the proper spot. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue on the line show you how this works. You'll see here at the very end it's a center any undefined. So if it's not a power shard or everything else that's, that hasn't made it way up the bin yet, it will go through here. Next programmable splitter, it says center yellow purple slugs and then right green slugs and then left everything else. Let's go ahead and follow the slugs real quick. All right, it said right green slug, green slug here to make our one power shard and it moves on the items. This one here is set to right yellow slugs and center power slug, a purple power slug. So this one's a green or yellow machine to make two. And then of course the last one is set to our purple power slug. And that's going to make your five power shards. And you'll see here right the outputs are all tied on mergers. All of these mergers goes over here, goes over here and then right back to the beginning where it goes through those smart splitters to put the product in the proper spot. Alright, so that's our power shards that are being made. Everything else went to the left here, so we'll go over here and take a look. 
Looks like center is everything else and right is flower petals. So this must be our color cartridge machine. And it is. And of course the output goes here and all the way back to the beginning and up the right bin. Alright, moving on. Everything else is going center. This one is saying mycelia and biomass to the right and everything else center. So let's follow the right here. And you'll see this is set up to handle mycelia. And then it has a merger here for biomass. I'll explain that merger here in a second. And this of course is making our fabric. And then of course that goes back all the way to the proper bin and up it goes. Now the reason it's taking biomass from this splitter or taking it to the splitter or merger more or less and then to a splitter is because the other machines are making biomass also. So you don't have to send it biomass and mycelia to make fabric. You could send it leaves and mycelia and it will go through the system and still half of it will end up in fabric land and the other half will end up here in the biofuel maker. And that's what these machines are all for. The last parts of the split, let's take a look is center is wood, right is leaves, and left is alien carapaces and any undefined. That's important here in just a second. So of course this machine is taking leaves making biomass, this one is taking wood making biomass, and this one is taking alien carapaces and making biomass. They're all merged there, split again to the fabric and the biofuel machines. The last thing to look at here is anything else goes to the left. If it's not an alien carapace, it will go here to the left, and all alien carapaces go there, of course. And this has a ton of bins connected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bins right here. So you can feed it a lot of trash, and here's my concrete. I want to get that back. Um, so that's just so it doesn't block the system if you throw it ingredients that I'm not expecting in the system. Now this does have potential to break, remember. If you feed it a ton of stuff and you fill out build all of one series of bins, that item is eventually going to back up and clog the entire system. That's the reason to use these big bins. I really doubt you're going to fill it up very easily, but it has have potential right now since we don't have the um, item sync in the game. This is pre-patch 3 making this. Alright, let's go to the top and just make sure everything got made properly. Alright. Looks like we have our biofuel being made. Color cartridges are there. Fabric's all there. And we saw earlier the power shards, of course, have been made. So the machine is definitely working. Um, you can go even more elaborate with this if you want to make other items, but I'll, this is really the four items I care about the most. So I don't, usually in, somewhere in my build, I will make a machine like this. Um, and right now I just call it kind of the garbage disposal or the, the manual maker or something like that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the, the build there and hope you make your own.